Good evening. Hola, good, good evening, good evening, everyone. Hello, hello there. Can hello. you listen? Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. You know, I'm still facing problems with my camera. All right. Okay. I have Chancy over here. I can see Chancy, Luisa, Adriana, Claudia, Francisco. Andrea, uh, Luis, and Ivana. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And you? It's just fine. I'm, I'm really happy to see you again. Okay, let us wait a little bit for the rest of the people. I know that you are, uh, let me see. Let me see. You are... Eighteen people. You're eighteen people, right? So let us wait a little bit so that everybody can gather in the class. Uh, yesterday, um, you you had a homework, right? Who remembers about the homework? Do you remember about the homework? What was the topic we started yesterday? Who remembers? We uh, 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 uh routine ah routines right frequency adverse ah that's the way it is right frequency adverse and we were also uh now what are the frequency adverse you remember <clears throat> sometimes never always mm -hmm. sometimes Every day, mm -hmm. days, of days a week. Every day, often. Very good, often, often, very good. Uh-huh, so yesterday we were talking about it, okay? And tonight we will continue working on it. Yesterday, I remember I told you, hey, tomorrow you're gonna talk about uh, your typical week. What's your typical week like? I hope that you got ready. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, more than ready, right? I know. I know that you are a great students. And let's see, we're gonna start uh, listening to uh, Ileana. Ileana, what's your typical week like? Okay, um, first, I get up at um, seven o'clock because I start working at 7.30 and I work at home. <laughs> uh, then I finish at 10, 10.30, no, 10.45. And I go out, no, I go with my dog for a walk and um, then I have lunch at 12. Uh, but before all of that, I <laughs> take a shower. <laughs> and then I, I, I take lunch. I eat lunch. Then in the afternoon, I 
I watch TV. I do some um, work. And then I um, do some exercise routine. And like 6 p.m., I go out again, again with my dogs for a walk. And at night, I watch uh, Netflix uh, for an hour. And at night, I go out to bed. I, I go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Now you go to bed. <laughs> oh, that's quite good. Excellent information. Okay, very good. Now, uh, Ileana, give me one number from one through five. A four. Four. One, two, three, and four. Adriana Gretel. Hello, Adriana. Can you tell us Hello. about your, your, how's your week? What do you usually do during the week? Okay, uh, my typical week, like uh, every day for Monday and Friday, I always get up at uh, 6 45 I am and then I prepare breakfast for my son and for myself and after that we frequently uh, watch watch TV in around two hours then I clean my house and then I prepare lunch sometimes we take a nap because we felt very very tired and almost we take a nap to have a snap right and at the end of the day we have dinner to watch tv and fall asleep uh, but Saturday on Sunday, we go to the supermarket at, at the small with my mom. And we buy a lot of rice up there. Sometimes we walk around the mall and buy clothes and shoes. And then we return my house to have dinner and sleep. Only that. One number from one through five. 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 Okay, let me see. One, two, three, four, and five. Francisco, you are the lucky one. <laughs> hey, excellent. Okay, Francisco. Okay, okay uh, uh, Durant, during the week, uh, I like to go out to exercise on a road bike. I do it three times a week. On those day, uh, I get up uh, four and four half past a.m. Um, every day in the morning, and uh, the first I do it is uh, I make coffee. Um, I have uh, three dogs. Um, the, um, I uh, I have three dogs. Uh, I take the the parks almost every day. Um, twice a week, I visit my mother. Um, I go to the gym for four times a week, and I go to the salsa and bachata classes twice a week. I work in every day. Only in resume. Thank you. Okay, and I need a last participant, but in, in this case will be um, a volunteer. I need a volunteer. Not everyone at the same time. Only one person, please. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no problem. Uh, Okay. Well, uh, uh, my wait. 
Uh, usually, I wake up at 7 a.m. Uh, I, yeah, um, I take my breakfast, then I take my breakfast and I watch uh, series, movies, uh, or YouTube videos. Then I help to clean the, the house. Um, I have to clean the house and uh, I take a shower. Uh, uh, at noon, I eat my lunch and then I eat my lunch. I play video games and in the evening, in the afternoon, sorry, I, I practice my English. I and I learn vocabulary. Then I go to the show, go to the churn. And yeah, I come home, eat my dinner, and go to sleep. Uh, that's it. Okay, Miguel, that's fantastic. Now I wonder if you have any problem with your camera. Okay, remember, uh, I want everybody to activate camera. Right now, I'm, I'm having problems with my camera. That's why um, I'm, I'm not um, using the camera because I'm facing problems, okay? But uh, do the favor to activate your cameras, please. Thank you very Sorry. much. That was fantastic. No, no problem. Here, we're going to continue. Okay, people, that was fantastic. Your typical week life. I think there's a there was another person who wanted to participate. It was a lady. Hi, teacher. Uh, okay, Chancy. Chancy, go ahead. Okay. Every day I wake up at 6 a.m. every um, except Sunday. I usually go running for one hour with my pet. Uh, Duque. Uh, Duque is a dog. Then I um, take a shower, get dressed, drink some coffee, uh, have my breakfast. I clean my teeth and then go to work. Always I drive, I drive to the office. I check my email and I do some calls to client. And then at noon, I have my lunch. In the afternoon, I visiting some client, and at 7 p.m., always I go to the gym and do exercise for one hour too. I return my house around 8 p.m., 8.30 p.m., and I have my dinner very fast, <laughs> uh, watch uh, TV uh, news, and then I study English at 9 p.m. At uh, 10 p.m., I do my homework, practice English with my brother a little, and go to the bed at 12 p.m. Excellent. Pretty good. Okay, guys, now that you share some info about um, activities you do during a week, we're going to move on. We're going to work a little in the platform. in order to see what's coming. Okay, now yesterday, yesterday we started uh, talking about um, frequency adverse, right? So in just right now, I have some statements over here. I, I don't know if you are able to see it clearly. Okay, we're gonna read the following prompts. And we're going to be in charge of uh, responding um, about the advert that's in brackets uh -huh, and place it in the in the right uh, position. For example, do, do you play sports? And this is the advert, right? The frequency advert. What do you think is the best? Op I mean, not the best, but the correct one. Do you ever play sports or ever you play sports or do you play sports ever? The first I one? Think, do you ever play sports? Do you ever play sports? All right. What about the number two? 
Sure, I play soccer twice a week. Twice a week. Sure, I twice a week play soccer. Twice a week, sure, I play soccer or sure, I play soccer twice a week. The last one. What is the last one all about? Can you please read it? Sure, I play soccer twice a week. Okay, thank you. Number three, what do you do on Saturday morning? And we have the, the frequency advert usually. Where's the correct one? What do you usually do on Saturday morning? What do you do on Saturday more Saturday usually morning? Or what usually do you do on Saturday morning? The first one. The first one. What is the first one all about? What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Thank you. Number four. Nothing much. I sleep until noon, almost always. You have three options there. Nothing much. I sleep until noon, almost always. Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon or nothing much. I sleep until almost always noon. The second. The second one? All right, and I think this is the last one, right? No, we have more. Okay, do you do aerobics at the gym? Often. Often do you do aerobics at the gym? Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Or do often you do aerobics at the gym? Do you often do aerobics at the gym? It's the second one then. Yes. All right, thank you. Number six. No, I do aerobics hardly ever. No, I do hardly ever aerobics. No, I hardly ever I do aerobics. Or no, I hardly ever do aerobics. The last one. The last one. Number seven. Do you exercise on Sundays? Always. Read the best option, please. The one that you consider is the correct one. The first one. The first. Uh, okay. What 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 does it say? What is it all about? Do you, do you always exercise on Sundays? Do you always exercise on Sundays? Good. Number eight. No, I exercise on Sundays. Okay, we have the frequency advert. Never. The second. The second. One. You said the second one. Read the second one then. No, no, I never exercise on Sundays. Okay. Number nine. What do you do after class? Usually. What do you usually do after first class? One. Is the first one then? Yes. Okay. And number 10, I think this one, yes, this is the last. I go out with my classmates about three times a week. The last one, I go out with my classmates about uh, three times a week. Pretty good. Now we're going to check. Okay. We're going to check. Okay, now. Wow, fantastic. You got to attend people. Pretty good. Now, if you have any questions, you can ask that question now. Okay. We have 10 exercises and all of them are um you solve them correctly that's fantastic Peter, tell me this video record or record is uh, guardado no which video carla this class in this yeah. day yeah i mean the video yeah, stay, I mean, oh, oh, will stay in, in the platform. Yeah, I mean, uh, after after the class, okay, uh, I upload the, uh, the video in YouTube. Okay, so you can see the video uh, as many times as you wish, okay? And the same happens with, with the platform, right? So the platform, the videos in the platform um, are there. The, you are going to see them as many times as you wish. There's no okay. any problem with it. Thank you. Okay. 
Very good. Now, let me see. We will continue with this activity. So, frequency adverse, a piece of cake. Okay. Now we're going to go over um, some uh, pronunciation. Okay. In this, in this part, you're going to be exposed to listen to the intonation with direct address. This will help you to sound natural yeah. when speaking. Okay. We're going to go over it. You sure. Tell me. Uh, can I have the participant about um, my homework? Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, um, usually in the morning and um, Wednesday, I go to go, I go, I to go university. Um, only in the morning. Um, um, after do my homework, I I do my homework. I rarely, 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 right, right, rarely. Go to um, Tuesday uh, university. I frequently I go I go out why I go out with my friends uh, Friday. Fantastic, uh, Hiroki. Pretty good. Wow, you're doing a great job. Congrats. Hey, you know, this is this is quite important that you notice when you do the homework uh, you, that, that you notice that you are putting into practice what we are studying, okay? And that's fantastic. Let me see. I will share. I will continue sharing this info because, you know, the more we practice, the more we uh, learn. Let us see this uh, information about pronunciation. Okay, it's going to be a short video, but I don't listen the class, the video. Excuse me. Me neither. I don't listen. The video don't have sound. Doesn't have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will try it once again. Okay, let us see it, and let me know if you're able to listen to it. Okay. In this session, participants will listen to it. No problems now. Yes. Now I listen. Now very good. Now let's very, continue. Very fast. It's really fast. Is the the video is very fast. Yeah, I mean, it's a short video, right? It is oh. a short video. It's like uh, 24 seconds. Okay, okay. Intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. All right. So you see, it's a very short video. Uh, that's uh, telling us the way to In pronounce session, some expression, right? To listen to intonation with direct address. We're going to listen to it a second time. And then we will. I will ask some of you to repeat the, the statements. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. All right. Now, what did you listen to the first uh, statement? What's the right pronunciation? Who wants to read? Me. OK, go ahead. You're really fit, Paul. Okay, you're really fit, Paul. Very good. Second one. 
She looks tired, James. She looks tired, James. Pretty good. And the third one? I feel it, great, Dr. Lee. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Pretty good, right? So, you know, when speaking and using the right intonation, then you are... Um, your, your, your English uh, gets better, okay? Now, I think this is, this is a very short video, okay? That's uh, for, for us to practice a little bit, but, uh, you know, we're gonna go over this part, okay? We're gonna listen and we are gonna follow a conversation about fitness, okay? You will also notice about question we have, in short answers. Okay, so let us go over it. Now we're gonna focus our our effort in in the pronunciation. I will play the track. I will play the video. Okay, and then uh, I will ask uh, you to to read by using the right pronunciation. Let us try. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, very good. Now, listen. Now, did you notice about the way people, I mean, these, these people um, use frequency adverbs? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Now, yes. Where, where, where are the frequency adverbs in the conversation? Um, often. Every week. Often. Twice often. a week. Uh, oh, we have twice a week. Often. Sometimes. Every week. Every week. Every week. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Often. Every week. Often. To play sometimes. 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 Sometime. Sometime. No, but this is, this is, you know, this is not the frequency advert. Sometimes is a frequency advert, okay. right? Yeah, and only those, right? Often. 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 How often? Uh, how often, right? How often? Pretty good. Okay, that's right. Now, uh, do you want to practice the pronunciation of, of this? Um... This conversation? We're gonna, tr we're gonna try. Okay, we're gonna try. Now I will give you, um, let me see, five minutes. Five minutes for you to for you to practice. Do you wanna listen to it a second time? Quieren escucharlo una segunda vez? Yes. Vaya, nos vamos a fijar mucho en pronunciación. Okay, ahorita vamos con pronunciación. Okay, here we go. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone, are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks, I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Uh, 
Okay. I give you a few tips. Oh, all right, but I'm not. Okay, now let me see. I need a uh, volunteers. Okay, I have David. Thank you, David. And I have Ileana. Okay, so uh, Ileana, I think you are gonna play the role for Ruth and David for Kate. Okay, um, you're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, do you want to play sometime? Um, how well do you play? They do well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. <laughs> wow, fantastic. Hicks and no mistakes when speaking. Pretty good, congrats. Okay, now I need two, two more volunteers. I have Mike, uh, Miguel, sorry, I have Miguel and also Mayra. Okay, I think Mayra starts. Okay, you're in great shape, Kate. Miguel, where are you? Sorry, thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, um, how well do you play? Very well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem, I'll give you a few tips. Fantastic. Pretty good. Now, some of you are gonna let me know about the pronunciation of certain words. Sounds good. Okay, no, don't worry, let me see. Uh, Okay, like notice about this. And also, let's see, there, there was another one. Well, well, we're we're gonna we're going to see. We're going to see. We need uh we need two people more. Okay. And we're gonna be done with this activity. I have Jonathan, very good. And very good, Jonathan. Is there any other participant in Hiroki? Very good. So Hiroki, I think you can start. Okay. Um, you're a great shape, shape gaining. Thanks, I guess. I am real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis. Uh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Very well, I guess. Well, all right, but I am not very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Hey, nice to meet you. All right, very good. I'll give you a few tips. Very good, really nice. Okay, now I, I wonder if you have any question about about the pronunciation or about about the meaning of certain words. Uh, how often do you work out? Work out. Work out. Work out. The okay. word sounds. So, which one, Carla, or? Yes, uh, I have a question. Tell me. 
and the pronunciation is freak or freak? Freak. Fit, freak. Fitness freak. Yes. Um, yeah, that's right. Okay. You know what a, a real fitness freak person is all about, right? Somebody who goes to the to the gym, I mean, all the time. Let me see. Jonathan says things. All right. Very good. Is there any other question? No. All right. So, so that means that we can move on. Give me one second, please. Not very good. Okay, remember that you can see the videos as many times as you wish and you can practice, okay? As many times as you wish. Well, there are some questions, okay, that are formed with the word how. And of course, there are some uh, answers and these answers can be short answers, okay? These answers, okay, or these questions are like the following. We have, you know, how often do you work out? How well do you play tennis? How long do you spend at the gym? How good are you at sports, etc. right? So I will play the video only once because, you know, it's, it's very, it's, it's more important for us to put into practice what we see or what we study in the class. But anyways, we're gonna go over the video and then we're going to see if we can practice a little bit. In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How, how often, how long. They refer to times or frequency. How well, how good. They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. Short answers. Can ask in order to know. Okay, now. The purpose uh, for this info is to provide short answer, right? To, the, to these questions. Uh, but you can say like, how often do you work out? So you may say, well, I usually uh, work out, uh, or I usually work out uh, on Sundays, okay? Or, but, but you can say, just the, the the short answer, right? Uh, every day, twice a week, not very often, etc. Right? It's not necessary to provide a whole statement over here. Same with the second one. How long do you spend at the gym? But this is, I mean, if you say I spend like about thirty minutes a day, okay, so it's all right. But you can you can simply say thirty minutes a day, two hours a week about an hour on weekends, and that's it, right? How well do you play tennis? Pretty well, about the average, not very well. I mean, short answers. How good are you at sports? Pretty good, okay, and not so good. Then we have some, some questions over here, right? We got like some questions. How often do you go to English class, people? Short answers. For uh, for a week, twice a week, twice a week. One hour of day. Ah, oh. well now every day, almost every day, right? Very good. 
How long do you spend at school? Every day. How long? You know how long do you spend at school? It refers to the time. One hour. A One day. hour. One hour daily. Pretty good. How well do you speak English? Not so good. Not so good. What do you do? You, 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 you speak so, so. English quite well. Very well, well I guess. <laughs> Very well. I know. I know. You speak English pretty well. Okay. How good are you at speaking English? It's okay. 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 Very good. Now, this is the info, people. This is the info that we have for tonight. Okay, and let me see. I think we have, I think we have some exercises. So here, to to put into practice what we have learned so far. It says instructions. Complete the following questions. Guide. Oh, so, sorry. Complete the following questions. Guide yourself with the answers. Choose from how often, how well, how could, how long. Um, and that's it, right? And for example, we have in, in the first one, we have, I guess pretty good. I often play on weekends. So, but what what's... How well? How well? How well? How well at volleyball? Is that the question? Um, do you... I don't know. <laughs> How well do you play? No. Do you? How often? How often? How good? How good? Okay, How just give just give me just give me. Play well, volleyball. How good at volleyball? How good play at? Mm -hmm. How good are you play? playing? Are you playing? Are you? are you? How good are you at volleyball? Are you playing at volleyball? How good are you at volleyball? I think it's how good are you at volleyball? How good are you at volleyball? Now remember, look at the instructions. Complete the following questions. Guide yourself with the answers. Choose from how often, how well, how good, or how long. How good are you at volleyball? Now let's see. Later on, we're gonna we're gonna see the answers. Don't worry. Spin online. About an hour after dinner, I like to chat with my friends. How long? How long? How long? When do you spend online? Do you spin online? Let's see. Number three. Play cards once or twice a month. It's a good way to relax. Can somebody help me with that one? Number three. How? We have like. How often? Yeah, how often, how well, how good, and how long. How often? How often, yes, how often? How often? Play cards. No? How often do you do play cards? Do you play do. cards? How often do you play cards? How often do you play cards? Okay, and the last one, type. Uh, not very well. Actually, I need to take a typing class. How do well, how oh uh, well, did you type? How oh, well, do you type? How oh, well, do you type? Type. Okay, Not let's see. What's well, going actually, on? I need to take a typing to take a typing class. You know, typing, right? Mm -hmm. 
Let's see. In the first one, good. How good are you at volleyball? Pretty good. Number two, how long do you spend online? Perfect. Number three, how often do you play cards? Number four, how well can you? Uh, this is this. Uh, uh, can you? Yes, because how well can you? Yes, because it's it's an ability, right? It's about typing. How well can you type? Pretty good. Anyways, you did a great job. Okay, Congress, Congress people. Well, we're almost done. Wow, we have advanced a lot tonight. <laughs> and that is fantastic. You know, hey, tomorrow, tomorrow, you know, we are, um, tomorrow we are um, having classes. Don't forget about it, okay? You remember about it, right? Yes, yes teacher. Yeah. Okay, now, you know, health, health and fitness, okay? How healthy and fit do you think you are? Skim the questions below, then guess your health and fitness score from zero, very unhealthy, to 59 very healthy and actually it's going to be humble for you to to work on para el día de mañana nos van a decir um, nos van a hacer una pequeña presentación de cómo mantenernos eh, saludables monday no tomorrow okay tomorrow les recuerdo eh, chicos que mañana tenemos clases Ok, no se les va a olvidar conectarse. Y también la otra semana vamos a tener clases día viernes. Ok. So for tomorrow is, is, is the following homework, right? How to keep healthy. Cómo mantenernos saludables. Pero le vamos a agregar algo. Acá realmente nos está diciendo acerca de, eh, de la salud física. Pero también le vamos a agregar la salud mental, ¿ok? Cómo mantenernos saludables físicamente y mentalmente. Eso es para el día de mañana, ¿ok? Hello. Coach, uh, okay. I get it. Okay, There you got it, right? Yeah, I get it. Okay, so you got it. Very good. Now. Remember, we, we have a deal, right? Recuérdense que tenemos un trato. ¿Cuál es el trato que dijimos ayer? I don't remember. I don't remember. Participate in class, no? Well, we, we, we got a lot of deals, right? But one of, the, what, one of them is like, be ready every single time that you have, that you have an activity or a homework assignment. You're not allowed to say, no, teacher, I'm not ready. <laughs> you got it? I got yes. it. Yeah, okay. teacher. Okay, so for tomorrow, I will ask, hey, are you ready? I mean, are you ready to start with the homework? Then you say, sure, I'm more than ready. I will share what I have uh, gotten. <laughs> okay, so, you know, talking about healthy and unhealthy food. Well, give me one second, please, because I need, sorry, give me one second. I need to check the list of things. Antes de que se vaya a terminar la sesión, yo debo pasar la lista. Ayúdenme con eso, por favor. Eh, Adriana Grethel. Here. Okay. Andrea Esmeralda. Present. Claudia Jocelyn. Present. David Alonso. Present. Francisco Alexander. Present teacher. Gabriela Guadalupe. Gabriela. Is Gabriela in the class now? 
No, she's not. No, she's not over here, right? Thank you. Oh, um, Glendy. Here. Good. Ileana? I'm here. Excellent. Irving? Hello, Irving. Hiroki? I saw Hiroki in the class. Yes. Let me see. Hiroki, are you still here in the class? No. It's gone. But anyway. Pero si es tú. <laughs> yeah, he is. He was in the class. He was in the class. Hiroki. Let's see. Uh, Jennifer Raquel. Jennifer. It's not here, teacher. She's not over here. Jonathan Vladimir. Present. Josue Miguel. I'm here. Carla Tatiana. Eh, presente. Catherine Jasmin. Present. Luisa Ariana. Present. Mayra Patricia. Present. Nerly eh, Jaciel. Nerling. She's absent. And Jancy Jamilet. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, so we're done with it. Okay, now this is, this is, let me see, I will share the, the image once again so that we can finish with it. We still have like seven minutes. And of course, we're gonna take advantage of those minutes, okay? So how to keep our bodies and our um, minds healthy? That's the question, right? Now, in order to see what's going on with that, then you are going to check some points over here. You can you can you can um, write down the number the number that belongs to each answer. For example, how many meals do you eat each day? How many? How many meals? Three meals uh, is in Spanish carne. Mm, not, not really. Uh, avena, si no, estoy... no. 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 It's... It's oatmeal. No, I mean, meals refers to um, las comidas, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Oh. ¿Cuántas comidas tienes que comer cada día? <laughs> How many meals do you, do you eat actually each day? Five, three, or zero? So you, you would with some people four, okay, okay. In my case, I take, uh, I, 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 I eat three, three times, okay. In my case, I two meals. You take two, only two, okay. So, it's just write down your answer there. Now, number two, how often do you eat at a regular times during the day? Almost always, usually, or hardly ever. Usually. Usually. Okay, so write down the number, okay? Write down the number you got doing here. Number three. See, usually, number three. If you say almost always, it's in number five. It's because at the end you will notice uh, uh, about how healthy um, your, your, your eating habits are. How many servings of fruit or vegetables do you eat each day? Three. 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 Okay. Fruit or vegetables. Okay, you, you, you take your notes there, right? How much young fruit do you eat? Very little. Very little. No hamburgers, no pizza, no campari chicken. No. No. It's hardly ever. <laughs> Okay, so very little. Okay.
Okay, it all depends, right? So take your notes. Do you, take, do you take vitamins? Yes, I take every day. Sometimes. Uh, uh, it's yes, every day, sometimes or no. Okay. Now, talking about your fitness, how often do you exercise or play sport? Three or more days a week, one or two days a week, or never? Five. Okay, so write it down. Write it down, because at the end we have some, uh, we have an analysis, right? About our habits. Which best describes your exercise program? Both with training and aerobic exercise, either great training or aerobic exercise or none. It all depends, right? Five. It depends on you. Five. Okay. Number eight. How important is your fitness program to you? Five. Very important. Very important. Fairly important. Not very important. Number nine. Which best describe your weight? Within six pounds of my ideal weight, within 10 pounds of my ideal weight, or more than 10 pounds over or under my ideal weight. It all depends on you, right? Number 10. How often do you get a physical exam? Once a year, every two or three years, or rarely? Rarely. 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 Okay. Number 11, how often do you sleep well? Always, usually, or sometimes, or hardly ever, or never? Sometimes. <laughs> usually. <laughs> you usually do. So, okay, so we're almost done. You see? The hour is almost done and you, you can see, right? So according to the, to your answers, sorry. According to your answers, sorry, 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 sorry. But you can see your, your, your score over here. If you got like from 46 to 59, that means that you are, you, you are doing an excellent job. Keep up the good work. If you got from 31 to, 50, to 45, good. Your health and fitness are about the average. If you got from 16 to, to 30, your health and fitness are a little below average. Be careful. And 15 or below, you can improve your health and, health and fitness. Okay. And that's it, right? So that's what we got. What, what was your result? people. What was your result? Mine was 32. 32? Yes. Okay. Very good. What about the rest? Well, you know, for tomorrow, people, what's the homework? What's the tarea para mañana? Make a tomorrow is Friday. Yeah, tomorrow is Friday and we are having classes tomorrow. Okay. Recuérdense que mañana tenemos clases, chicos. No se les va a olvidar eh, conectarse. Sumamente importante, ¿ok? Um, la tarea para mañana es que, que algunos de ustedes nos van a a mostrar cómo mantenernos saludables físicamente y mentalmente, ¿ok? No solo físicamente, sino mentalmente. Van a ser, si, si ustedes quieren preparar una presentación, háganlo. Siéntanse en la libertad de hacerlo. Sean creativos. Acuérdense que ese tiempo es para que ustedes lo disfruten, ¿ok? Y pues puedan aportar a la clase. Mientras más aporten a la clase, pues... Eso quiere decir que, que, que su inglés va o está mejorando, ¿ok? Está mejorando eh, todo el tiempo. Siempre que estamos participando, estamos aprendiendo algo nuevo. Estamos venciendo ese temor de, de, de qué dirá mi compañero o mi compañera acerca de cómo yo estoy hablando inglés. No, 
¿ok? Hay que vencer eso. Acuérdense que es importantísimo que ustedes pongan en práctica lo que acá estamos aprendiendo. Si no hay preguntas, comentarios, observaciones, lo dejamos por acá y nos vemos el día de mañana. ¿Les parece? Eh, teacher. Yes, good night. Ok. Yo tengo una pregunta. Eh, con sí, relación a la, a la plataforma, ya que se tiene que entregar eh, antes del día viernes. Entonces, sí, sí. ¿sería para esta semana eh, terminar lo que se nos pidió para mañana? Sí, hay que terminarlo, por favor. Acuérdense que eh, prácticamente el día de ayer in invertimos un poco de tiempo en, en la introducción del curso. Y quiero decir no eso como que siempre como que nos hace que corramos un poquito, ¿verdad? Pero este, acuérdense que la plataforma está habilitada para que ustedes la trabajen en cualquier momento que a ustedes les parezca y que tengan el tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, adelantemos. Les sugiero que adelantemos para que este, la clase pues vaya, vaya pues eh, fluyendo con más facilidad. Teacher, parece? ¿hasta qué sección tiene que estar terminada esta semana? Pues fíjense que ahí dice semana 1, eh, la parte 1 y la parte 2, ¿verdad? Pero igual mañana, mañana vamos a trabajar prácticamente la, la, la primera parte ya la terminamos. Entonces mañana vamos a trabajar en la segunda parte, que espero que, que lo logremos terminar. Si en caso no lo terminamos, pues van a quedar algunas actividades como, como de tarea. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. No more questions? No for me. See you tomorrow. See you. Okay. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. And God good night, bless teacher. You. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Thank mm -hmm. you.